Hello, Team ET. Good afternoon. Welcome to our bi-weekly live event. And today, as you can see on the screen, or this month, in fact, is all about leadership in sales and this term that's called situational fluency. It's creating some um, confusion amongst many of our followers out there. Trust me, it's one of the foundational ingredients to becoming a successful sales professional. So the more you know about it, the better you can apply it, the better your performance is going to be, whether you're leading a sales team, whether you're the sales person out there at the coalface meeting the clients. Situational fluency, in my own experience, as well as in the theoretical textbook approach, is something that we all must be aware of and understand how to capitalize on. So this month, the month of October, we're really putting a lot of effort and focus to enable our followers, our executive talents, to really master this skill, knowledge as well as skill, I, I guess you would say. So with that said, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the ingredients that we're providing during the month that will help you nail your sales leadership in terms of situational fluency. So without further ado, let's jump into the mix of it and get things rolling. So as you can see on the screen, at the end of this month, 23rd to the 26th of October, that means we're only a couple of days away from closing our registration for this challenge. Now, this is a four-day challenge. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to participate for a whole four days. It means across four days, 90 minutes every day from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Hong Kong time. And we're going to record these sessions. so. If you can't make the session, those people that register, their interest will receive a copy or will be able to access the recorded video. Now, of course, we want as many people as possible to turn up live because it makes it much more engaging, much more interactive, um, and you learn better. However, if you can't, we've learned from the past experience, it's going to be available to you. Uh, regardless of whether you sign up as a VIP, which was the case in the past, we only gave the VIP um, registered participants access to the recordings. This time, we're going to give everybody access to the recordings just to make it that little bit more um, user-friendly for everybody. All right, so as you can see, it's all about learning how to become a situationally fluent sales leader. We follow a case study as we always do. We're going to go through that in a minute. But the one thing I want to make people aware of here is if you're not a sales leader, it doesn't matter. This is still applicable for you as a sales professional. So please, if you have an interest in improving your ability as a salesperson, and to be honest, we're all in sales, are we not? Every one of us, whether you are a child, whether you are a senior veteran like myself with a lot of gray hair, you are still involved in selling. And understanding the situation that you're engaged in is so foundational and critical to your success. And that's why we're bringing this to you in this month of October, 2023. As we go forward, of course, there'll be new opportunities. But all right, with that said, hopefully you're clear. Oh, by the way, I have my best Oxford t-shirt on today. So we're really diving deep into the theory team. We're gonna be, you know, Oxford University has been voted in 2023, again, as number one, world leading university. So congratulations, Oxford. Well done. All right, let's get into it. Here we are. So the challenge itself, as you can see on the left side of your screen, it's about learning to become more situationally fluent. And as I mentioned, on the 23rd to 26th of October, 
is when we're going to be running our four-day challenge. Now, as I said, 90 minutes each of those four days from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. That's it. Now, you will also have a wealth of material that you will use before, during, and long after this challenge is concluded. We'll have a little bit of a look at that as we go forward, I think, from memory. Um, but let's get into it and unpack exactly what we're offering first up, and then we're going to go deeper into the challenge itself to let you see the things that we'll be covering. All right, so this challenge you can see has three components. First up is we offer you our free three video ebook mini series. Then we bring the main four day challenge to you. Now, in each of our challenges, we do a live review of a real life case study. So this is a case study from something that I've personally, with somebody that I've personally coached. Now, of course, we don't use the real name. We don't use the real company. The scenario is similar, but <clears throat> we, we don't disclose the actual um, coachee that was involved or the company they work for, but the case is real. And then, of course, we offer you the VIP option. And the VIP option comes with so many extras. And we're going to go into those three things. So that's what we're first going to look at. And then following that, we're going to go deeper, we're going to look at what you actually learn from these different areas of the challenge. All right. So as I go across to the next slide, I'll let you have a little look at that while I have a sip of my water. <clears throat> my hydrogen water or whatever it is my wife likes to feed me with. Okay, so here you can see our free three video ebook mini series. We call it our combo pack. And this is your only chance now to access this combo pack unless you register. If you register, we make sure you have this available, but you don't have to register for the um, challenge to have access to this. Now, this closed more than a week back. Access to this closed um, in the first week of October, at the end of the first week in October. So only through capturing this link and going to this link via this recording, are you still able to access this, all right? Other than if you register, then of course you'll be able to access it. All right, so what's in it? That's probably the main question. So while I'm talking, please grab a screenshot of that link. That is the link you need to be able to go to the landing page where you can register to receive this free mini series um, through an email that will send you in your inbox. All right. So what's in it? Let's have a look. First up, we have three short videos. Now, these videos are around about 10 minutes each. OK. They are primers, by the way. This is not just a standalone. It is standalone, but it also primes you for the main event, which we are referring to as our four-day challenge. So these three videos cover topics that will give you a great starting point to leverage from as you come into the challenge. And as you can see on the screen, we're going to be looking at how we leverage social media in the first video to become more situationally fluent. In the second video, we're going to be exploring how we create, how we identify, as well as create the pain chain for the client and the client's organization. Hugely important, powerful step. Helps you become situationally fluent. And then the third video is where we take those first two social media, the learning that we got, the research that we did, the engagement that occurred from the social media activities, <clears throat> together with our pain chain um, development for the client and the client's organization, 
And then we do further research to create the client and the client's organization's personas. And that's what we cover in video number three. So as you can see, three hugely important topics to get you started on this journey of understanding situational fluency. Now, what is situational fluency? It's all about you being an expert as much as realistically needed and possible in your client's business. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about how well do you understand your client's business so that when you meet and talk and go into the sales mode with your client, you can relate to exactly what they're going through. You can speak as if you are standing in their shoes or are feeling the pains that they're going through on a daily basis because you understand their industry, you understand their organization, you understand their role. That's what we mean by situationally fluent. And that's what we're starting to introduce for you here in these three videos. All right. So continuing on, in addition to the three videos, we provide you with a great learning tool in this ebook. And as you can see on the screen, learn the sales professionals why, what, and how of becoming situationally fluent and the impact this has with your client. That's very important um, tagline there the impact this has from you being situationally fluent, the impact it has with your client. And as you can see, the ebook is beautifully illustrated. These are two pages out of the ebook. We're looking at um, the why, the what, and the how. And then we introduce in the ebook, we introduce the topics that we're going to be covering in the four day challenge. So as I mentioned, this mini series, this combo pack, this three video ebook is really a primer to get you prepared and ready for the four day challenge ahead. All right. Now it can be standalone. If you recall, we covered those three videos, social media, pain change and personas. Who doesn't need to know about that anyway as a salesperson? All right. So it's not necessary that you do the challenge to do to download this free mini series, but it's hugely powerful and important if you do go through the challenge that you have this awareness already. OK, so that's what you can expect in your mini series combo pack. Excited? All you have to do is register and you'll receive an email where you can go and access the videos and download the ebook for free, no charge. Well, the only cost, you have to register. So that means we have your email um, <clears throat> for future communication. All right, so let's move on now and look at the challenge itself. And as I said, we always use real life case studies as part of our challenge. So in this case, we've dis disguised our client <clears throat> and we've disguised the company. The case we're presenting is with Julie Phillips. And Julie has just been appointed, as you can imagine now, this is a, a mock-up of a real scenario. Julie has just been appointed as the sales division head of a large region and she's really facing some challenges from fierce competitors new to the market that are bringing along dy dynamic um, sales techniques as well as products and services. <coughs> Excuse me. And Julie needs to be able to combat this with her team across the region. And so new to the role, she's been given a lot of challenges, and we'll look at that in a minute, from her board. They brought her on for a reason. They brought her on because they expect that she will be able to turn the business around, continue to drive um, business with their clients, continue to stay number one and achieve the quota. All right, so she needs to hit the ground running 
as we say in the case study. She needs to be able to have immediate impact, not only with her clients, but also with her team. She needs to really address this as a change initiative. That's important because we're going to be looking at change in the next month ahead in November about how to make this change immediately actionable for her team and something that her clients will buy into. All right. And so, of course, as we always do, we introduce how her coach supports her in this action. So Julie Phillips, head of a new sale or a sales division for a global organization, it's a sports company, and she has this major challenge where she's facing fierce competition from competitors new to the market that are bringing in a lot of new dynamic ideas, products, and services, and they're losing market share as a result. Sound familiar? All right. Therefore, the pressure is on for her to achieve the quotas that are in her target within her budget, um, as and therefore you can imagine the pressure her team is also feeling in being able to maintain that requirement. Okay, so <clears throat> roughly Julie's challenge, she needs to rapidly identify how she's going to bring value add to her clients, how she's going to bring value add to her team. She's got to be able to do that swiftly, implement immediately, so that she has long-term as well as short-term results. The board is expecting this. That's why they brought her on. They've given Julie this opportunity to turn this scenario around. And of course, you can imagine the consequences if she wins and succeeds or if she doesn't. All right. She's really got to be innovative in her way of approaching this. And of course, she must build the trust on both sides of her stakeholders. She has to build the trust with the board. She has to build the trust with her team. She has to build the trust with her suppliers, with her clients, and any other parties who are stakeholders to this company. All right. So you can see quite a challenging scenario for Julie. Daunting, perhaps, but a great opportunity at the same time. And that's why. Julie is really excited and eager, albeit quite nervous about how she'll approach it. And she comes and engages with me as Coach Wayne to look at what we, we may be able to work on together. How can we co-create this solution? How can we partner to help Julie achieve that change that's required? And that's what we look at. And we come up with this idea that seems to be lacking within this organization. And that is the application of the team becoming situationally fluent, of the company becoming situationally fluent about their primary clients. Now, time-wise, long-term, you're going to want to be situationally fluent about as many of your clients as you can. Definitely your main 20% that generate 80% of your revenue. But over the long term, you may become more industry situationally fluent, which gives you greater scope to expand your client base. In the short term, however, you need to maintain your existing clients, that existing top 20% that are generating the most revenue for you. And how are you going to do that? You need to get deep into their corner. You need to immediately start understanding their business. You need to understand their organization. You need to understand their industries. And that's called situational fluency. And that's what we look at in our four-day challenge. Now, we in the mini-series, we already started you on the journey. We gave you three areas that will help you start to move on that journey. We're going to go further during the four-day challenge, all right? So that's really what we're about. Now, of course, to make it even more exciting for you, you have the option to sign as a VIP challenger. 
Now, of course, if you've heard me talking before, you know that as a VIP challenger, it opens the world to so much more in terms of learning, in terms of goodies in your package, in terms of access to our mastermind.com platform where you'll be able to download, you'll be able to read um, through the sessions that we contribute, you'll be able to watch the videos and read the articles that we include on that platform. You'll be able to obtain a workbook that is really detailed, and you'll see examples of that shortly as I go through in more detail through the challenge. Um, but these are all takeaways for you. You will be asked to complete these exercises and to record those exercises in your workbook to then identify those needle movers, those key takeaway actions that you can put in place after each day. So you have four days worth of needle mover actions that you can take away with you. All of this available to you as a VIP challenger. And of course, you also get access to me directly. And at the end of the challenge, as we do with all of our programs, we do a wrap-up group coaching call to field and answer any of your questions, to make sure that you understood the theory that we introduced, to give you clues about what you can do that may not be working, what you can do differently from what you're doing at the moment if it's not working for you. All right, so that is what comes out of this VIP package. Let's go a little bit deeper and have a look at it. By the way, if you want to register for the challenge already, you can do so. You can see the link on the top of this page. That will take you to our main landing page where you can register for the challenge. Now, if you decide to opt in as a VIP challenger, on the screen you can see an example of some of the things that you will have access to that the people that register for free, because the challenge is free for everybody if that's what you choose, for those that want to become a VIP challenger, it will cost you 49 US dollars. All right. For the five day challenge, it costs you 59. For the two day challenge, it costs you 29. For the three day challenge, it costs you 39. So we go up in $10 increments per day of the challenge. Hopefully that sounds fair. Here's an example of what you're going to receive with this challenge. So everybody, of course, will get the mini series if you register for the challenge. In addition to that, those that register for free will get the challenge workbook. Now, this is an abridged extract of the VIP challenger workbook, which is the full version with all the theory and has everything in there. You will also receive the priming for the event guidebook. These are five priming steps that we give you to help you energize yourself before you join our live 90-minute sessions. Now, there's heaps of other things. The VIP challenges receive your um, challenger survivor certificate. You receive access to videos, articles, our mastermind platform, our group coaching call, a whole raft of additional items. So, Here's a look at the uh, Mastermind platform. This is what the program looks like on there. Um, six separate sessions that you go through. Um, it's really huge value that you, that you have access to. Now, mastermind.com is a platform that's developed by Dean Graziosi and Tony Robbins. So they're the co-founders of mastermind.com. They've developed this platform. It's a really user friendly, intuitive platform, super easy to use. And that's the platform that we use for all our programs. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And as you can see on the bottom of the screen, um, you can see the link. If you want to go and have a look at the sales page for what's in this program, if you sign up as a VIP challenger, you can see the link on the bottom of the screen here. So please take a screen capture, go to that link, 
have a look at the sales page. It will give you more details than the landing page gives you from that previous link. It'll be specific about, um, it'll even give you a glance at the different sessions that you'll have access to. All right, so you can choose at that stage whether you join or you, like you pay the money to be a VIP challenger. That's the only place where you'll be asked to pay money. The rest of it is just there for your learning, your observation. All right, so hopefully we're feeding you with a lot of info. Hopefully you're getting clear. What I want to do now is I want to go a level deeper. I would like now to start looking at the four days and what we're going to be covering in those four days. So please have a look on the screen, particularly the right-hand side of the screen, for the topics and the um, titles of what we'll be covering while I have another sip of my drink. All right, so hopefully you can see that we're covering the buyer's emotion and the buyer's vision, their wants and their vision. We're going to be looking at the buyer's cycle and the buyer's journey map. We're going to be talking about the seller cycle and overlaying the cycle of the seller with the buyer. Hugely aha moments, right, in many of these instances. We're going to be looking at sales excellence. What does that mean? How do you achieve it? How do you deliver it? And then finally, we're going to wrap up with ways that you, as the sales professional, as the leader, developing your situational fluency can establish your differentiators. How do you do it? What do you do? Why do you do it? And then we're going to give you a starting point for those sales conversations, the all-important first meeting that you have with the client now that you're situationally fluent. All right. So all in all, for a free package, this is pretty incredible value. I hope you're feeling. You have the mini series three video ebook package that gets you on the journey. And then in four days, we cover an enormous amount of material and the journey that you need to understand to become situationally fluent. Of course, none of this matters if you don't put it into practice, but we're going to give you the opportunity. We're going to give you exercises during these four days where you can actually put it into practice in your own real case. All right. And that's one of the values that comes out of this. Now, this is not just hypothetical, theoretical nonsense. This is based on real case studies. This is based on university research. This is based on so much information over the life of my career, as well as the life of so many sales experts out there. So fantastic value, don't you believe, for free. And if you want to go deeper, if you really have that itch, then you can become a VIP challenge. The choice is yours. All right, so let's jump in. Here's just an example of our workbook. Four pages out of our workbook. Day one, we look at the emotional connection, zeroing in on the buyer's attachment and their vision. Why do they become emotionally attached to? the journey they're on, and the vision they have. Understanding that is an aha moment in itself. On day two, and we're going to take you through that process, help you understand how to create that vision if it doesn't exist. All right. Then on day two, we're going to look at the buyer's cycle, still on that emotional connection, because emotion is such a critical component that you as a sales professional must understand if you want to become a leader in your field in sales. You have to be able to tap in to the emotional why, the reason the client, the buyer is doing what they're doing. So we look at that emotional connection in the first two days. First, the attachment and their vision. Day two, the buyer's cycle. And for me, this was a light bulb moment. When I first learned this a decade ago, maybe two decades ago, I thought to myself, wow, my sales role has now just changed so dramatically. And then we look at the touch points. We look at the journey map and the, the journey that the buyer, the client goes on with your 
product, your service, your company with you and the touch points that they have along that journey. We look for the gaps. We look where you're doing it well. We look where you're doing it poorly. We look for the gaps of what you should be achieving. And then we focus on what we need to modify to make this whole journey so much more emotionally memorable. All right? The emotional connection. So day one and two is all about the buyer and their emotional connection. Day three and four is all about the seller and their gaining their edge. But I want to say we never forget about the buyer. All right? So there's always that customer centricity behind everything we're talking about in this challenge. So in the buyer's edge, we're going to then be focusing internally. In the first two days, we were focusing externally at what our buyer, our client, feels emotionally along their journey to purchase their vision, their solution to that vision, all right? On days three and four, we look internally at the cycle that we go through and how we can perform in this state of excellence providing customer-centric, situationally fluent emotional connection with our customer. All right. So we look at the cycle and the excellence on day three. And then on day four, we round it out. We wrap it up. We give you the nuts and bolts that you must have based on all the research you've done, based on the preparation, based on your social media connections, based on your pain chains that you've developed, the personas you've created, based on understanding the buyer's cycle and the vision that they have, based on the journey that they're on, based on your own cycle and how you need to behave and perform, we then say, okay, so what are our differentiators against our competitors that bring something unique to the customer, more unique than our competitor, and something that the customer sees as value adding. So that's how we look at our differentiation. And then as I mentioned, we're going to then take you into your first meeting. We're going to give you some cues, some steps that you can use to prepare for that meeting as well as deliver the actual meeting. All right, pretty exciting stuff. I hope you agree particularly if you're sitting there as a salesperson. And this is coming to you over four days, or well, the mini-series plus four days, plus a group coaching call if you tend to uh, join us as a VIP challenger. All right? So if not, it's all free. Go figure. All right, here we go. Let's get into it. Day one. Wow. What we're looking at here are the pages taken out of our workbook um, for the VIP challenger. All of these pages, some of these pages, the exercise as an example, is included in the Challenger workbook, but the other pages are not included in the Challenger workbook. We want everybody to have the exercise available. So we give you, um, whether you are a VIP Challenger or you've joined for free, we give you a workbook so you have the exercises um, and you can take notes. But for those that do pay the extra money, we give you additional material. And you can start to see as we go through these four days, the quality of the content. This is not just a PowerPoint or a Word document that you know we've written out our notes on. This is professionally developed, graphically designed workbook that you get for life. All right, it's going to have your exercises. It's going to have your notes. It's going to have your key takeaways. It's going to have the theory that we cover. It's going to also give you insights to that real life case study that I spoke about, in this case, Julie Phillips, and how she approached day one, day two, day three, day four of what we're going to cover. So you can see that on the screen. So on day one, and I'm just showing you several of the pages included for day one. 
I didn't want to put all the pages. I think this is a um, <clears throat> close on 70 page workbook. <clears throat> Excuse me, a 70 page workbook. So you can imagine day one will have what 15, 18 pages. Um, here's three of those pages. All right. So emotional connection. We start to look at the rationale, the psychology, <clears throat> and we jump into taking from the mini series in our exercise. We pull from the mini series to make sure that you went through the mini series. As I mentioned, that's important. That's a starting point for this challenge. So we want to make sure that you get something from that mini series and we get in the exercise, we start to look at that. And then we go further, of course, into tying that into that emotional connection. And then we look at how Julie approached it. Now, Julie goes into a conference. She calls her regional leaders from her sales team together for a four-day conference. All right. And these are the steps that she introduced during that conference. And then at the end, of course, prior to the conference, she, she meets with me, we go through, we make sure she's got everything she wants and needs. And then after the conference each day, we go over, you know, what worked, what needed tweaking, what she needs to do now as a follow-up, and then prepare for day two, day three, day etc. All right. So you'll, you'll be able to read that. Um, as a VIP. Okay, day two, we continue. All right, now again, an extract of what we cover in day two, but you'll start to, sorry, I need to go onto the day two page, but you'll start to see um, some of the material that we cover. Again, we have all forms of exercises that we introduce. Here on the screen, you can see a multi step process that we ask you to follow through and build and create yourself to map that buyer's journey. Yeah. Now, of course, there's also a page where you can draw the journey. You can put your touch points. You can identify the gaps. But these are the steps that you will follow in doing that. You'll look at the buyer's cycle. You'll work on you know, what each of those four lines represent along that cycle. Why is it important to know that? What are the factors impacting each stage of the cycle? Really important stuff. And then again, Julie's journey. What did she do in her conference? How did she introduce this to create immediate impact? Remember, she has to focus on short, medium, long-term outcomes, not just the medium and long-term. She has to get immediate impact and traction. She needs to establish immediate trust with her board, with her clients, with her team, so that they can all start moving on this journey together. All right, so that's what we cover in day two. Still focusing on the buyer, remember? The emotional connection. In day two, we cover the buyer's cycle and the journey map. Yeah? So that's what we'll be covering in day two in our discussion. Now remember, we're doing all of this in 90 minutes. So our aim in bringing this to you is to make it as simplified as possible. We're going to give you additional reference material where you can go deeper if you desire. We're going to give you guidelines during the 90 minutes. We're going to give you as much information as we can without totally overwhelming you and making this just a data dump where you go away and you have no real takeaway. All right, like so many challenges tend to do. All right, so then day three. Day three, we move from external to internal, still with that customer-centric approach, but now starting to look at the seller's um, part and the role they play. So we start with the sales cycle. We overlay the sales cycle with the buyer's cycle so that we can see where we are, where we know we are, or believe we are, with where the, where the buyer, where our client is on their part of the journey. Now, quite often we get way ahead of ourselves and we start trying to negotiate or promote our product and 
negotiate it and try to close when the buyer is still way back in their process in this in their cycle still evaluating maybe even still getting clear on their vision and we're already trying to close them all right so by overlaying the two cycles together we really get some clarity around this whole process this is so light bulb moment if you've never done this before, and this helps you become situationally fluent. Hopefully you can start to see this common thread that weaves throughout our four days. It's all about you understanding your client's business and your client to the nth degree so that you can be in their shoes and therefore be so much more effective. All right. So again, day three, you get a snapshot. What did Julie do at the conference? How did she bring this sales cycle, this sales excellence to her team? So that when you go away from this challenge, you have actionable, practical steps you can apply. Sound good? I think so. All right, let's keep moving. Day four, and here we are into our differentiators and our sales conversation. Now, we don't just talk about it. We give you the tools. We give you the application. We give you the blank exercises where you get to create it for yourself. We show you how, we talk about why, we give you the what for, and then we give you the tools that you go and practice with. And of course, Julie wraps it up on day four. You can see she's smiling. She's happy with the outcome. It turned out to be successful. It's a journey, however. We had immediate impact because the leaders that attended Julie's conference bought into this concept of situational fluency. They bought into what was needed to be done to get to that stage. And there is work that has to be done. Make no mistake about it. To become situationally fluent, you don't just wake up one morning and say, ah, okay, today I'm going to be situationally fluent. You have a lot of work to do. Now, hopefully you can do it collectively in a team. But if you are an individual, an entrepreneur, and you're looking to become a sales um, guru in your field, in your company, for your company, then you need to get this under control. Now, you may engage external parties to help you achieve it. That's what most entrepreneurs do. Uh, but the more you know, the better you are, the, mo the, the more intensive conversations you will have with your clients the more they will see the excellence you bring to the table and how you can really offer the right solutions based on your understanding of their need and their wants and their vision to satisfy the pains that they're experiencing. All right. So I could talk for hours, as you can tell. Sales and situational fluency is something I'm extremely passionate about. At the end of the day, at the end of the four days at the end of the mini series and the four days you're going to have such a wealth of takeaways that it's going to be incredible now whether you utilize them is up to you as it says on that final question how are you going to apply these four days what are you going to take advantage of after concluding this workshop what are the needle movers that you're really going to put actions against and work on to be, help you, to make you become more situationally full. All right, as I mentioned at the very beginning, team, two days left to register before we close the books for this four-day challenge. This is the last place where you will see this link, unless I post it again on social media one more time, maybe. But here is your opportunity to screen capture, to get the link, as you can see, challenge hyphen four hyphen main as the suffix on our standard coaching for companies link. That will give you the registration landing page. From there, if you want to become a VIP, you can go deeper. From that landing page, you'll be able to see uh, a button that will take you to the mastermind.com page where we have the opportunity for you to register as a VIP. So that's the journey team. That's what lies ahead of us. I think we're several days away. This starts in, what are we today, the 19th. So this starts on 
think we're in the 19th. This starts on um, the 23rd next week. So don't miss the opportunity. We close this in two days. So today's Thursday. We close the registration on Saturday. We start the workshop the four days on the Monday, the 23rd. So that's what you have ahead of you. Look, here's some extra things that are in the workbook. You know, this is not just Wayne Brown making this up. This is not just coaching for companies coming together and saying, let's put together this challenge. This is based on research, and we've included eight separate um, companies who have researched. You've got Gartner, you've got McKinsey, you've got a wealth of research that supports the need for you as a sales leader, as a sales professional, as a customer-centric individual. It supports your need to become situationally fluent. So you can go deeper if you wish. How do you get in contact with us? If you've missed these links, if you want that final opportunity on the back page of the workbook, you'll find the links where you can go. All right, team, so what have we covered? We've given you a lot of information today. Hopefully you've kept up. If not, here's a summary. Social media, pain chains, client personas, buyers' emotional connection, their wants, their visions, their attachment, their cycle, their journey map. We then looked at our sales cycle and how to become an excellent a sales excellence person. And we looked at the differentiators and the sales conversation. All of that lies within this free October package that we have available for you now. Incredible, I know. But that's what is available for you. You want more information about who we are, coaching for companies, there's our link. You can find us on social media on a whole realm of different platforms. Please check us out. Don't do anything without feeling confident. This is free. There is no attachments other than your registration. We will then keep your email in our system. We will then email you about future promotions, of course, whether that's email promotions or campaigns we're running, which we run pretty much every month, by the way. Um, so that's where you can go check us out. Get confident about who we are. We're not some scam artist looking to somehow hack into you or your system. Please check us out and be comfortable yourself. When you are, then come on over. We'd love to see you. November, just around the corner. What happens in November? Well, our situationally fluent selves then learn more about change. Change is all around us. Change is fundamental to our existence. Yet most of us, whether we're leaders or employees, staff members, entrepreneurs, whoever we are, parents, community members, we fear change for some reason. And in November, we're going to be running our final mastermind for 2023. We'll have three program options available for you, but it will start option one and two will start on the 27th of November. So that's what's coming. You can see, I don't know how clearly you can see it, but that framework image you can see there, that's an indication of the things that we cover in this mastermind. Or a very reasonable price, all right? So we have pre-workshop. We have four sessions within the workshop. We have post-workshop. That's available to everybody that registers as a paid member of the mastermind. Now, of course, there's so much more. You become members of our alumni. You become um, eligible for 20% discount, so many other things. I'm not going to go into that today. but. Keep in mind, that's what November has in store. Who are we? We're coaching for companies. We're all about helping you as an executive, as an executive talent to develop the skills necessary for you to advance your career, to move to that next level. We do that through coaching and development training. That's who we are. That's what we're all about. Hopefully, you've heard of us. Hopefully, you see some value in what we offer. Here we are. 
This is the ET Project Live. I hope you've enjoyed this short introduction to what's ahead in October. I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible in our challenge, our four day challenge. Until then, four days from now, bye for now. Bye from Coach Wayne. Have a great weekend. See you soon. So, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell icon so I can pop up in your feed occasionally with a great tip for your ultimate growth.